So what web and what why? You want to be looking at today. So this is what web. It, it comes pre-installed, so you just type what web. If you type and um, if you press enter, it shows you the list of um, help. Yeah, from the what web. So if you just type what web without any parameter, it show you the how, how to use it. So you say what web, then your option, and then the URL or the URL so you want to um, scan. So what web is the next generation web scanner that scans for the um, for the domain the, the the properties of the website. So uh, if we have our target in the file, like now you know we had we had our subdomain target already in one file already. So we could use the tag tag input file is equal to file or the tag i command to exactly. And so for for the for the scan type, we have the aggressive scan. We should can use the tag A and then we we'll choose either we want to do a stealthy scan or an aggressive scan or a, there's meant to be one more. There's stealthy, aggressive and add scan. Maybe even your update is out I'll get it. So and also what the verbose command that shows us the output that is making this scan on the website. So now how do we now basically use what web? We say what web space then our target this man just come. All right. So first it checked for the if it be version for the website, but it says that it has been moved permanently because currently the website is HTTPS for its connection to the website. So now it, it takes, yes, exactly. So this is now the website, exactly. Yeah, yes, now. It is the simplest thing that you can do. All right, so from what you can see now, you can see that the website is running fine, and it's hosted in Bulgaria, and the email in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. <laughs> yes, now, you know, most of the web technologies they are not Nigeria based. So it just depend on. Like now, I think the the website is in a um um is it an e-commerce website? So it's the it's the owner of the commands that that's supposed it. That's why. So it so you got the email address, the HTTP server, which is light speed server. Which if if it is not updated, if it is not up to this can be exploited. Then the IP address, the jQuery version, and then other useful information like the PHP version also is point zero point thirty. And then the title for the website. So this is that it's a WordPress site. And so, um, okay, now that we have seen what like the WordPress site, there is a tool that also let us you know to gather from company vulnerabilities from WordPress type on, which is called WP Scan. WP Scan. So, but we'll come to that. Shall we? So, okay, for the sake of that, is a one present. Let, let us go, go straight into this after we touch the advanced command. So, now if you say what web, what web, then tag i for, for the input file, I say bismarrow.txt, right? And I press enter. Hey, are you serious? I've been forgetting that so. Okay, okay, okay. This is title. You can and London is laptop. Oh, so so the self fairly is laptop self. And I never knew. 
Okay, so we go to this website also gadget.com and it sells gadgets. So information about all these subdomains that we got came out. Then the then yeah we can see that that this subdomain has been moved already. This NS2 server is forbidden, meaning that you can't have access to it. The 404 means that the page cannot be found and deleted. And um, yes, so the tag I in then it you call I is tag tag is tag tag I. So yeah, so what we subdomain called gadget of this model You know we have done our subdomain scan already before. So now it's bringing us information about the subdomain. This is the HTML5 light speed, also jQuery. This. So we should open this link now. You see that. Since, since it is 200, it, it means that the, the subdomain works fine. And so, this is how it is. So, it's the this model subdomain that, that we sell laptop, Asus, Acer, Dell, Lenovo. So, that is just the subdomain. So, now, coming back, we have not done our aggressive scan yet. So, we can see what web. Tag A for aggressive ones and TD for aggressive ones for stealthy. If I say one, yeah, okay. So let me click on what we begin. For, yeah, so for the aggressive level, you could specify one for stealthy mode and three for aggressive mode. So you could say what were tag A, TD, then https www.bismarrow.com which is that uh, we have the wordpress uh, um, knowledge and powered by PHP. So, yeah, there's there not really much more information that we visualize. So, well, next tool that we'll be looking at is the what work. So, what work is a tool that is used to um, what work. W H A T W A F. Is it that is used to identify if a website is running behind the firewall? So you open a browser and search for what's worth. And the first link that comes up. <laughs> the first link that <laughs> you know that. Good. <laughs> then we can run the rest now. So, um, what command do we use now? No, no, no. The link. It's control shift V on terminal. Control shift V. So, I already have it installed. So, that's why. And uh, this is my what's worth. So, then next, I would CD into it. CD what's what up. Yes, so we can install the requirements and all that, amongst all that. All right. So, then now, LS to see the list of things in our file. So first we have the install helper, second we have the setup.py, and third we have requirement.txt that will help us verify if we well, install the necessary dependency. So first I run the 
to the inside that's sorry about the passage so but before you run i thought i don't get anything from github before you run anything make sure that you change the permission to allow it allow the site to be so and whenever you download anything from github always watch out for either dot sh or dot py or dot go or those programming languages so or set, set up the sun teacher it tells that that's what you should look if you use to not. so we say ch mod plus x to add execute permission for my user only to install lpad.sh then ch mod also plus x set up those py and ch mod plus x okay that is all okay ch mod plus x what to have this is what to have so how you get that so then first we'll run the internal message so just type those backslash the backslash from the directory uh run this file the dot means from the directory that's what from the directory look for this file and download it so even that it's downloaded what about so the next is to install the requirements not txt so you say pick three install that are requirements not txt requirement for the two what work and then lastly we'll run the setup of the one so let us what the way so see python three setup plus py install nice so this is the two install and this installs all the requirements but see it it does not <laughs> so now next so after we install all the, all the requirements you cannot run the auto app so we say dot slash what to have what to have enter sorry what to have that each enter and so it does the about how to use what to have and so it tells us that what to have is what is the description so it is how to so you type what to have that's what to have tag either tag ulpg and the value so there are a lot of command that that will be used but for starters you could just use the basic um what's up and then our website then tag you to specify that you want to input the web url and then press enter and so it checks if it has the firewall and, and if it has it checks it by pass firewall so let me clear my screen so dot slash what's up tag you then our target is always this man with the spell. Is that? Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. <laughs> so press enter and then it starts. Um, any firewall in place. So, uh, no protection in its fire. Meaning that no, no firewall on our on our site. You don't protect it by, by firewall. Yeah, so that means DOS attack on it. Uh, I beg you. Don't try it, Sato. <laughs> so, now let's. Look at our next targets now. That has a firewall. So this accuracyforce.com is a website that should have a firewall. So I'll clear this and as usual, what we have that you and then I'll paste and enter.
Something happened. So let's watch the output. So we said success, success, apparent working tampers for targeting that today to bypass the firewall. And so now we were targeting a database actually in on, on the website. So and then from what we can see now, the description that yeah. So that's how you detect firewall. So I think we are good to go then. 